just for a moment, just bring to mind a recent moment, if you have one, of feeling joy. Close your eyes, bring it to mind, kind of breathe it in. See what your body feels like when you think about it. Notice the bells and whistles, time of day, everything about it. And as you do that, what do you notice changing physically for yourself right now? I feel like my shoulders for like for sure dropped already, mm. like got in the peaceful state that I felt when I was walking through the park with my puppy dog this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it about walking through the park with your puppy dog that felt joyful? Nature, just being around trees and sunlight and cool weather, getting to see him be so joyful of chasing squirrels around and just being in his little element. It's like nature's hug when you're walking in the park. It's mm. a really good way to explain it. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. it's always a great place to go. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I've done this exercise with lots and lots of different groups and workshops and the core components that come out when you go to a moment of joy. Mm -hmm. One of them is you are mindfully in the moment. When you were feeling the joy and watching your puppy dog bounce around, were you worrying about your work day or thinking about the dumb thing you said yesterday or any? Uh, no, you were just nope. right there. And one way you can tell is you you were aware of all the sensory experience. Yeah. Right? So for me, that's one of the pillars of joy, mindfulness. Like you focused on the sensory input yeah. when you were walking in the park. Right? Yep. So if we can reorient our brain to spend more time really breathing in the positive sensory, if you make that a five minute practice every day, your life will be better. Right? So that's like a very practical example of something to do. And then the practice of really learning mindfulness, really learning mindful meditation takes time and effort. It's not always pleasant, right? People want it to be pleasant all the time. It's not. But how much effort are you putting into recovery and healing and changing? And why not be like, okay, this is an effort, but maybe it would be very productive. 